Hello, today I want to quickly show you how you can use a template element to load images on demand and not delay the loading of the page. What do I mean by that? This is an, uh, a demo of the Tinder REST script that I wrote the other day and where you have lots of animal pictures where you can say yes or no to and most of the time you want to say yes because they're all cute. The problem is that loading a lot of images delays the onload handler of the page. A lot of times you will actually use a DOM content loaded instead, but some scripts will still need the onload handler and that way you don't want to delay it as long as possible. I had this problem back in 2007 when I worked on Yahoo Answers and back then one of the ideas that I had is that instead of loading images I loaded default.gif with a hash at the end of that and then use a JavaScript to get all the things out there. That was one way of doing that. There are many, many other ways of doing this, a lot of them using JavaScript to load all the images on demand and so on and so forth. The problem that I have with a lot of them is though that you have to maintain the alternative text and the title elements and all kind of things that you want to have for an image in a, in a JavaScript. And that doesn't make it sense to me because in HTML you have all the control over the images that you want to have. So instead, in this case, I thought I'd do something different and I do it in my HTML. But first of all, let me show you what this means. So this one here is the version that is live right now. So if you load this on a simulated 3G connection, and my wireless connection hopefully here works, you can see that the DOM content loaded is 556 milliseconds, whereas the loading takes 2.0 seconds. That is okay, for that amount of images is not too bad. But if we don't do the trick that I'm going to show you, then it's a totally different story. So if you reload that one with the same settings here, you will see the DOM content loaded is 642 milliseconds again, but the other loading still goes on. So the onload handler is delayed for almost 6.5 seconds here, which is something that is not a good idea in case you've got a script, have other scripts that are relying on an onload handler. So what I've done here, which is pretty simple, is in my index.html, I've put a template element around the images that I don't want to load immediately. For browsers that support this, anything inside template is inert content. It doesn't get loaded, it doesn't get rendered, the browser does nothing with it. For other browsers, it's just an element that it doesn't understand. So for example, Internet Explorer 6 would just see the whole list. It will load all of them and delay all of them as well. So that's where this idea falls a bit short. But for all the other browsers, this is a very, very simple way to deal with this. So in my JavaScript, what I do after I loaded the, uh, after the onload handler fired, I just take the template element and then I take the list, which is the parent node of it, and take the content of the uh, template element and add it to the inner HTML of the list itself. And then I just remove the, uh, the child so the template element is not in the page any longer. The support in browsers is really simple, actually. When you look at it and you go to Can I Use, all the browsers, including Safari and iOS Safari, does that. So this is a very simple way to load images only on demand and only in the browsers that actually support it right now, whereas other browsers like IE and Edge, but there might be change coming that way, uh, right now don't do that, but they don't have a problem with it as well because they don't understand what a template element is. So for them, it's just another element inside the list and they will load all the images. Once they support template though, the same trick can work out for you. So that's just a little trick. Think about it. There's a lot of opportunities we have with the template element because having non-content, non-loaded, non-rendered content is something pretty new in HTML. This way it cannot be polyfilled as well, but it's an interesting thing to work with.